Jesus Christ! Santa's trike got a little loose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn! Whew. Well, welcome to the 2022 WFO's Where Are They Now? 12 Rings of Christmas edition. And we happen to be sitting here with Andrew, who is our lead fabricator in the shop. This rig has been on three 12 rigs of Christmas and every year it gets better and better. So we're going to talk about a few of the new things that he did this year. So what do you got, Andrew? Well, this year we got dual cases, harnesses, front Let's take a look shop. at that. Let's look inside. I'm going to walk around. That's where all the uh, action happens. So show us what you got. All right. So I threw the dual cases in. Uh, last year they were sitting on the floor in a box. This year they're underneath the floor on the transmission. And I got these triple sticks here from Northwest Fab. And no it. factory mod comes right up through the floor in the factory spot, huh? And you got, yeah, high range, low range, high range, low range, and then four wheel drive. It makes everything real simple and easy. You to got use. all that? Hope you remember all that. You don't forget about that when you're on the trail. No. Which one's which? Oh no, even when you're drunk, it's easy. So this is the Northwest Fab Doubler, which they just give you an empty case, right? Correct. Oh, that's that one that was sitting here on the floor with the dicks drawn on it last year? Oh yeah, that one. And then you locate an extra Toyota gear driven, or actually chain driven transfer case. Tacoma case, yeah. You remove the planetaries out of it, you put it in the crawl box, put it all together. Yep. But at the same time, we talked about this last year, you went to a driver's side drop Tacoma case in right. this so that he could use the Super Duty front axle. Um, you got your uh, CB radio, breaker 1.9, breaker 1.9. Big red coming in hot uh so what else did you do in here well one of my good friends got into a rollover accident and she didn't have harnesses and she didn't come out of that too well so i put this harness bar in ties into the roof and the floor gonna tie into the cage later on and we got these prp four point harnesses so this bolts right up into the roof and then you do some sort of an exo on top of that later on all the way down through the floor got our tube clamps here bent a tube behind the seats and attached your four points to that and i noticed that even the lap belts are attached to that tube on each side as well. Everything's secured to that tube, yep. So super clean. You still fold those seats down, you know, and sleep back there, huh? Oh yeah, every time. Slides yeah, yeah. right underneath that tube. Yeah, that's real nice. Well, uh, why don't you come around front and show us up what's going on? Well, had a lot of issues with tires hitting fenders. So I did a cut up here, matched a tube to that cut. That curve and that fender line cut is awesome. Right to your rock slider right down to the rock slider soon to be tied into the cage to clear the new 40s you don't have pre-owned 40s this time correct these are actually 40 inches yeah unlike the uh 38s i had before and then nice and tight you actually sunk this bar into the grill right trim the grill out uh had to trim the uh, headlights down and get smaller ones to clear this tube and at the same time he got rid of that stupid light bar that he had last year no light bars needed here out these lights are plenty bright enough and i mounted the winch in here with this ultra four style front end snuck the uh, psc cooler right underneath that through the power steering in to add uh, this skid plate underneath here just to make steering a little easier out there on the trail and then at the same time you went ahead and added the psc hydro assist right right yeah that uh that makes the steering like butter So this year was a year of the small details. You got the crawl box, you got the hydro assist, you got the nice tight and clean front tube work, move the winch up, better approach angle. Yeah. Um, I see you've been hitting a lot of stuff. So these guys get out there and wheel. Every Friday night, they're headed up the hill. This is our two inch quarter wall WFO tie rod, smashed and bent. This is our universal drag link kit for putting these axles in just about anything. Our track bar as well. So you're getting out there, you're using this truck, and uh, the upgrades uh, seem to work out good. Yeah, she does a lot better on the trail now. And are you still dancing out there on the trail? The face, nah. He's got the moves. You notice he said his friend, girlfriend, had a rollover. He only is friends with ladies. Only the ladies. All the ladies. Everyone. Yeah. Uh, I know, what the, I noticed something over here. What's this? Dad's leaving beers in there again. Every year his dad leaves beers in this truck, you know? Well, I better confiscate this because I know you're not quite 21 yet, you know. All right. And uh, I am a little parched, especially uh, after riding around on my trike this morning. So let me uh, have a little sip out of this bad boy. Ugh. Pretty warm, pretty skunked. So 
Hopefully you liked uh, watching the Where Are They Now of Andrew's Forerunner, and uh, hopefully next year we'll see something bigger and better, like maybe a V8 in this bad boy. Well, I think it's time to go find Aaron, our welder, and see what he's done to his rig. A few moments later. like we tracked down another one so this is Aaron he hasn't had his rig in the 12 rigs of Christmas for two years and he is our welder so all those trusses all those link mounts all the solid axle kits you're getting you see all those dimes stacked <laughs> this is him right here this is the man he sits in that booth and lays it down uh, so this year we're gonna show you his truck and see where he's gone from two years ago um, and it's a vehicle that I really enjoy because it is a Toyota mm -hmm. and that's where everybody starts <laughs> out and uh, then they progress into real rigs with real motors but you know <laughs> for now we'll be good yeah. with it so tell us what you've done since the last time you had it uh, in our video. So I was on Leaf Springs front and rear um, two years ago so I have uh, with the help of Andrew here at, um, working with me, uh, we did the three link and that was a year ago. So you just don't see many old school Toyotas and this is a 79 Toyota with a 22 RE that he swapped in, full wiring harness, runs killer, dual cases. So you just don't see a lot of Toyotas that number one are the 79 version, most of them are 84, 85 and newer, um, but that have a three link in it. So you, I told you not to do a three link. Yeah, you did. And he worked with Andrew <laughs> yep. and they worked together. They drew it all up on CAD and this is what they came yep. up with. So take a look. So I managed to fit uh, 12 inch, two five uh, coilovers. And um, then you have RWFO truss on the stock Toyota housing, yep. right? And yep. you can see right here, the uh, trail gear hydro assist tucked in. <clears throat> and for up travel reasons, you had to keep the ram down low with the skid. Exactly. Right? That track bar goes in between. Tucks in right in it, here. It goes in between the truss and the, the tie rod and it, it goes all the Looks way. Looks like you got five inches up travel where you're sitting right here. Yep. So, yep. Uh, and to fit two and a half in here is pretty awesome too. So this also has our uh, 79 to 85 Toyota frame plates yep. as well, right? And a uh, 14 inch uh, shocks. So or, uh, uh, oh, the 14 inch towers. Towers, yep. So yeah, this is our universal 14 inch tower that he used in the front to fit the 12 inch, two and a half inch King coil. Over, exactly. Which getting 12 inches of travel and keeping it this low is not easy. Difficult. And you know, when you pulled up, I thought Toyota axles, it's got uh, Burfields in there. Uh -huh. It's got the six shooter Chromos, knuckles. Yep. Chromoys, but uh, I was thinking these are gotta be like 36s. <laughs> what size are these Those bad are boys? Those are 39 and a half. 39 and a half yep. inch IROX, old school. Yep. And what size is this rim right here? 15 inch rim. Keeping it, keeping yep. it classy, 15 oh, yeah. inch rim. More sidewall, for sure. So the other thing you've done uh, from when it was leaf spring to leaf spring yep. is you did this exo cage. Yep. So you got radius uh, front tubes. Yeah, so my, my buddy at uh, Twisted Metal Fab, um, I rolled it in and all I wanted was a, uh, exo cage from the cab to the front and so we pulled it in and long story short we pulled it out with a full full exo front bumper and a rear half and one of my favorite things that i like about this exo and what you guys did is you got our tube clamps right here so the front bumper actually comes off of this thing yes. right like you can't even really see what's going on but you can remove the front bumper and do work on the front of the truck so as we work to the back Air tanks and so the, in the those skids. are two by six quarter wall square tubing um, that are drilled and tapped for my air tank, which is ran off my York straight off my mo motor. That's another thing you don't see is he's got a York on the 22 RE, which is awesome. You got as long as that engine's running, you rev that thing up, you got serious air uh -huh. on the York. I can get 150 pounds of pressure in about 
15, it, 20 seconds. In on your dual sticks. cases, you have just standard gearing above yep, dual stock, cases. Stock, yeah. Five speed transmission. W56 tranny. And then I noticed you've got that CB radio going Dude. in there too. Oh yeah. Love it. Love it when these guys are running the CB. Uh, fuel cell. And then here's where it gets kind of tricky back here. Watch out for my trike. Don't be <laughs> stepping on it. Um, so on this, you cut the whole back of the frame off, cut right? The, the, the back of the frame um, was fully dry rotted out. It was twisted like three or four inches. We so just cut, it off, at the cut it off at the frame. So all tube work in the back. So completely back half. And then what I do like is you can see all the aluminum panels in there. Stainless steel. Oh, stainless steel. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, you made it, made it a truck bed again. Yep. So yep. I mean, need that space. For instance, you just like got to. <laughs> stuff you throw in the back. You know, usually I'd be throwing beer cans back there. You know, so stuff doesn't rattle out. Yep. Uh, then you pinch the rear down. Pinch the rear down. So this was a short bed, and so when we did the the stretch, I stretched it 12 inches. So I was at 101 on leaf springs. I stretched it. I'm now 113 Ooh, wheelbase. 113 is the high. And number. so so when we did that, my um, bed sides the. Uh, uh, so you, wheel well wouldn't match. So you just got an extra bedside. Well so I got a, on I got side. a, I got a long bed bedside, and I. Uh, so I cut noticed it through. here, you got our WFO truss, but we don't have that one on the website nope, yet. Nope, that's the only one made. So dual triangulated four link. You got two point in the back yep. coil overs. What yep. are those twelve inch travel? No, those are fourteen. Fourteens in the yeah. back. I like it. And then. Uh, Registered 2023. This sucker's yeah. a driver. You drove it yeah. to work today. Yeah. Drive it around town. Yeah. You know, no trailer rig going here. Yours or Andrew's. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I love that our guys are building stuff that you drive it up there. You wheel it. You drive it yeah. home. You know. And I, I would like to say. So a lot of people ask why the Oda. So my really but um, really good buddy Steve, um, he did uh, the same or kind of the same build way way before me. He did a ton more, but his tailgate says toy on it um and so you the, guys line them up and so make we out. we line them up and it says toyota the only you know. thing that's different my tailgate to his is steve it's the ongoing joke i actually have a tailgate working tailgate that's a nice working <laughs> tailgate right there so well hope you guys liked aaron's rig and it's always good to see somebody put a lot of hard work on it and see the rigs progress year after year so we wanted to show that off and uh, we're gonna go out there and see if we can track down any one of those where are they now rigs from the past few years and I think I know who we're gonna go find. I'm just not sure yeah. yet. So <laughs> I gotta get on my bike and go find somebody. All right. Don't forget everything's 12% off during WFO's 12 rigs at Christmas sale. Get you some of that. All right, so we're out here doing a 12 rigs of Christmas update. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's not a Toyota in the driveway anymore. Now that I've turned 21 and I, you know, started actually drinking real beers instead of those cheerleader beers, I had to get rid of the old Toyota and rooftop tent and here we are. You know, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I sold the Toyota and we're on to a 1989 YJ that I'm stretching 15 inches. I do all my work outside, so it takes a little bit longer for me to get things done on these cold nights. It's about 36 degrees out right now, but I'm still plugging away, you know, getting the grinder out, cutting brackets off the frame. I just cut the frame off, and now I got the new frame put on. Got the plasma cutter out here. We're, we're getting down. It's a little chilly, but, you know, that can't stop us. It's going to be a whole lot different than the other ones that I've built. Front axle is a 14 bolt, rear axle is 14 bolt. We got an LS sitting right there for it. We got a turbo 400 for it, Atlas transfer case, coil overs front and rear. And we are doing a double triangulated four link system with full hydro. So stay tuned for the build. Uh, do, do we have wardrobe here? Wardrobe, wardrobe. Ugh. We got a little bit of a blowout. Santa's got a little bit of a blowout there. We're gonna have to uh, dial these things in. We got a lot more to film here. Shit.